Hi, my name is Prashant Warrior. I'm co-founder and CEO of Cure.ai. AI. Proud to have Stuart Quinn here with us today. He's the CEO of Medica. Stuart, would you like to introduce yourself? Thank you, Prashant. So it's a real pleasure to be with you and to, to meet the team here in, in Bangalore. Uh, my name is Stuart Quinn. I'm the chief executive of Medica Group. Medica is, a, is the largest provider of teleradiology services based in the United Kingdom. We're a listed company on, on the London, on the FTSE stock market, and we've been in existence for about the last 15 years. We have a network of over 500 radiologists around the UK and increasingly now overseas in countries like Australia and New Zealand. And we report both urgent out of hours uh, radiology images that come out of uh, about half of the hospitals in the United Kingdom. Um, and we also then provide elective services, which at the moment are critically important given there's a huge backlog of patients waiting for procedures in the UK that require uh, imaging um, processes. So, uh, so that's what Medica does. We also operate in Ireland where we, op where we have a, a wider service providing managed services and we also have a business based in the United States which is focused on imaging for clinical trials. So uh, uh, Stuart, I mean, teleradiology has been at the forefront of adopting AI. So two questions there. One, why is, why is that? I mean, more than hospitals, I think teleradiology has been keen to adopt AI. So one, uh, why is that? Second question is, what do you think is the future of AI in radiology, teleradiology and, and all these different areas uh, of scan interpretation? Yeah, so I think the answer to the first question is that uh, I think AI works best at scale and I think teleradiology providers by the nature of the business are, are reporting on, in our case, over 1.5 million uh, studies pre-COVID. Um, and so for us, we can really see the benefits of adopting AI. And, and really for us, the benefits are, are twofold. The first is in improving the workflows. Uh, and what we've seen is that with tools such as the QER tool from Cure, we've seen not only an improvement in the quality of, of the outcome, but also in the speed of reporting. So we see that definitely there's gonna be an impact on, on workflow, and, and that's absolutely critical for us because in the UK, uh, we have a shortfall of over 40% uh, of radiologists. So if, if we had another 40% of radiologists, all the work would, would be able to be done in-house, but it's not. So we have to be very, very uh, conscious of the fact that the more efficiency we can get from our, our reporters, the more, that, the more that they can report, the faster they can report, and the more accurately they can report, the better. And so the second area really is, is the quality perspective. And what we've seen, uh, our experience to date, and talk a bit more about with, with Cure, has been that um, it's really helped radiologists in support of the, the normal day job of reporting to have that um, additional AI tool so that you know, the, the occasional study that comes through is very hard to detect in this case. Um, so we've seen the real impact of AI in, in detecting brain hemorrhages with the QER tool. Uh, which we know that you know every one in every so many um, will will not will be very hard to detect by the human eye, and that's been a massive benefit in terms of improving the quality of the, of the reporting service. One more question um, on the where do you think AI is headed? I mean, what what do you think? Let's say AI in radiology will be five years from now. Yeah. So AI is definitely it's um, it's now starting to be more widely adopted, and I think in our view um, the number of use cases that that absolutely spring to mind. The first is for high volume screening analysis. And we're seeing that things like, for example, lung screening. Um, what we see is very high numbers of patients are screened um, based on symptoms of, uh, of uh, you know, potentially having some lung conditions. And what you want there is to be able to pick out the, the positive cases very quickly and to be able to treat those patients. So, um, and, and, and it can take quite some time to report all of those studies. So AI is a fantastic tool to be able to do a, a quick screen of, and, and detect where there could be a, a nodule in the lung and to be able to separate out those patients and put them through for, for treatment. And then where the, where the AI is not detecting anything in the lung, those studies still need to be read, but there's less time sensitive. So I think that sort of triaging of, of cases is really, really important. And the other area is really in the workflow. And as I said, you know, the more efficiency you can get from, from AI tools to help to support the throughput studies, uh, allocation of studies more accurately, uh, and the reporting quality is, 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 will have a massive benefit. Last question for you. Um, you selected Cure from, looked at many AI vendors selected Cure uh, as the partner to work with. So wanted to ask you why, what, what sort of attracted you to Cure at that point of time? What sort of made Cure stand out from uh, other competitors, number one? And second, what has your experience been with Cure working with us for the last two years? Yeah, so the, the first question, I think, you know, there are a lot of companies that have very similar algorithms. So the algorithm, I think, you know, we came into this thinking, you know, we want to make sure we have the best algorithm and I think the Cure algorithm is fantastic and you know, the sensitivity level is, is very, very high and improving on the specificity 
um, you know, month by month. So it's a fantastic tool. But actually, what's also equally important is the interaction with the team. And we found that you know, every every um, workflow is different. We work differently from other teleradiology providers, and, and Cure has been fantastic at adapting to try to help us to really integrate the tools effectively into the workflow. For me, that's been the biggest learning. So the algorithm is fantastic, but it's really been the approach of your team to help us to integrate that into the workflow that's really delivered the benefits. Um, and I think that partnership is really, uh, you know, is really valuable, and, and certainly we want to grow on that, and we want to look at other algorithms that, uh, that we can work on, on together, as well as other benefits in the workflow. And I think in terms of the results, the results have been very powerful to date. I think the first thing is that the adoption has been really high. We've, we've cons consistently had very strong feedback from radiologists that this is a tool that really helps them in diagnosis of, um, uh, of stroke. And obviously, as you know, that's something that's, that's really time sensitive. So not only is it helping in the quality and making sure that we, we don't miss any very fine hemorrhages in the brain, but we've also seen an, an improvement in the time to report. So using your tool, we've, we've seen that we report on average within 13 minutes and that is faster than it would be without a, an AI tool. So and that, those are early results, and I'm sure as we adopt it further and we get more experience of using the tool, it'll be better than that. But it's great, great results so far. Thank you. Thank you so much, Stuart. Uh, that was, thanks a lot for the kind words, and look forward to working with you on QER, on QXR, many other AI products, and seeing how we can work more with Medica and create more impact for NHS and other systems around the world. Thank you so much. Thanks very much, Rosanne.